if you can, uh, if you're in an executive role, start orienting your executive career to acquire th those kind of skills and experiences that will be valuable in the boardroom. So that might be uh, that might involve acquiring some of those hot skills that I mentioned, like ESG, cybersecurity skills. Um, it is important to have a role with PL responsibility. We definitely find that people with PL responsibility are more likely to get on board. So running an operation, running a small division, running business, whatever. International experience can help. Um, increasingly, particularly for scale-ups and startups, um, M&A, VC, fundraising, PE, scale-up, startup experience, that's, that's a huge demand, particularly in the SME type sector. Yeah. Um, it's also useful if you if you can actually get board experience within your own company. Um, so maybe on a subsidiary board or, or even if you put yourself in a position where you're reporting regularly to the main board. Um, so, so try to get some some boardroom experience, even if it's reporting to a board and um, do check with your company if they will allow you to sit on an external board. Some companies are really supportive of this and find it a really good developmental opportunity for their senior executives. Some companies don't allow it for conflict of interest reasons, but some do.